Well, I am at the historic di district in um, Jekyll. Rode the bike down here. There's a lady singing at the Wharf restaurant on the other side of here. Um, this is one of my favorite places to be. It's actually the sun is setting behind us. Yeah, but it's sort of hard to see that, but it's really pretty. That's one of my favorite places. Um, so tomorrow I am going to take Lee Van. We're going to leave out early. Just go up the road to the little park and uh, the beach park and just sit there all day and just sort of try her out. Give her a trial run away from anything. I am having some issues with uh, my little EcoFlow. Um, I purchased another um, air fryer with less wattage and can't cook anything. I don't know what's, it should, it should be able to run it on the little um, X charge or X, X boost or whatever it is on there, but uh, yeah, not working well. I'm sure it's just because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to take the instruction manual tomorrow at the beach and um, try to read up on some stuff and see if I can figure out what's going on. And then EcoFlow customer service is on the contact list. So we'll see. I'm gonna try out the air conditioner. I meant to make a video of me trying to come up with how to do that. I did prototype one. I will show that to you tomorrow. Um, there will be other prototypes, but for the first one, I don't guess it's bad. Let's just see how everything works. Um, so tomorrow should be interesting. I looked at the weather. It's, it's not going to be as nice as it was today. Uh, there's chance of thunderstorm, so uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Okay, so I'm in my van. It's about 7 a.m. Uh, I've been awake for a while, but I just couldn't make myself get going too early. I wanted to make sure I I didn't want to get there before uh, the uh, while it was still dark. Anyways, I didn't want the state patrol to fuss at me or anything. But anyway, because they can do that. Um, so I am going to head up the road. Um, it may be a mile from here. Hopefully, get me a good space set everything up and then I will show you how things are going after then. Okay, I am here. We are at the Great Dunes Beach Park in Jekyll Island. I found me a pretty good little shaded spot. It's back further than I wanted it to be from the beach, but it's still not bad. So, I'll show you. This will be I gotta get me a phone that has the little flip thingy that you can flip while you're taking a video. God, this is bad. Anywho. And this is the parking lot. I'm going to go and do yoga in just a little bit on that pavilion. And the beach is just right beyond that. It's a very pretty spot. So I'm going to get set up here. Uh, get all of the... Um, can just see how my parking is. It's a little caddied, but it's okay. We're in the spot. We're in the white lines. 
um yeah nice shade right here all right so let's see how this goes okay well i am set up in my van in the lee van uh it seems like it took a lot longer than um it actually did i got here a little bit before seven it's 7 30 and i am sitting down at my little dining room table about to eat my oatmeal and drink my coffee i went ahead and made it and warmed it up and fixed me some coffee before i left i'm because i'm still having trouble with my uh cooking situation um so uh yeah i just thought that would be the easiest thing to do um the air conditioner the little thing going out the window um uh, in theory i mean it it will work okay it just like the holes i made them a little bit too small so it's really really tough to get the vents through the holes to go outside and also just working with that tight space between the um driver and the passenger seat and just trying to get everything hooked up to that oh one thing i did forget uh, i gotta run the uh, water uh the jug to the water hose hold on okay i'm back i think that's the hardest thing about the flipping air conditioner is putting the air the water tube on it anyway let's hope it stays i took a just a gallon water milk jug or whatever and cut a hole in the lid of it at the top and then just stick the little hose down it but it's that to attach it to the air conditioner is just ridiculous anyway so hopefully that's done we're gonna see how cool it keeps us today it's probably going to be cloudy after a while anyway it's already seemingly clouding up so um, it should this is my little air conditioner I'll show you Let's see if I can get it. There's the little, I got that little tube coming out. Um, there she is. The little breeze. And here she is going out the window. Yeah, there's still, a, the, there's a little space of sun uh in my little windshield thing but anywho yes so i got my little table right here set up with my oatmeal and my coffee i am uh actually uh really tired right now my head hurts i think that i'm gonna have to have a rest before I go um, out and hopefully I'll get out before too long because it's gonna be hot. So I'm gonna eat and then I think I'm going to take a walk on the beach. See you later. So this is where I am going to do yoga this morning. There's my yoga mat overlooking the ocean can you see the ocean it's so pretty so here is the Lee van coming back from yoga it, she's so cute I've got pretty good shade right here. Here is my little 
air conditioning vent situation I still got to work on because the holes are not big enough. Can't get the hose through there like I want to, but I want to, but I guess it's not bad. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It doesn't look like there's any much space in there. Yeah. So cute. Yoga was great. It's so great. I got my bike ready. I'm gonna, and uh, my little beach chair. I'm about to go and take my beach chair and my phone and earplugs and do some meditation on the beach. Yeah, that's next. Okay. It's 11.30. It is sunnier outside than I thought it was going to be. The air conditioner, the smart battery, as smart as it is, lasted till about uh, 11.30. It takes six hours to charge. And yeah, maybe since, I mean, I charged it, but it had a full charge when I, all of the lights were on when I started it at seven o'clock this morning. So I had to run it into um, River, Pico Flow River. So I've got the fan, the air conditioner, and the refrigerator on River, and he is doing fine. So I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out why he won't do my um, little little big little air fryer with a timer it's a anyway um so i am hungry i ate earlier than i normally do uh, i had to lay down for a little while to recuperate from well i woke up at four this morning and then never could go back to sleep so i got up around six and working and all that and then I did my meditation and uh, yoga and then I went for a bike ride um, and so but when I got back I was tired so I've been laying down um, but then I had to get back up to plug in the air conditioner so I'm about to eat I did fix a chicken salad I'd made some um, chicken the other day so I cut some of it up and some a bed of spinach and some, it's, uh, I did some carrots, there's some almonds and strawberries in here. I'll show it to you, it looks quite pretty. I don't know how well you can see it. It's, it's really dark. So my fairy lights do not give off much um, light, but I like it like this, so it's okay. If I need to see really good, I will just, a little trusty little flashlight or my phone light but I like it like this. I'd probably do need like a push light that's bright um, but I don't I don't know where you get those that are bright. So it is time to eat lunch. I think after lunch I may go to the market. I was going to pick up some it's just right up the little road it won't take long to get there but I wanted to get some salmon for my dinner tonight I will not be cooking it in the van I'll have to wait till I get back to the house but um, anywho um, I'll have that for dinner tonight hopefully I'll check back in with you later It is a little after one o'clock. There is like 30 minutes of um, battery power left on the river. Um, so we've made it from seven in the morning till probably 1.30 in the afternoon. I was really hoping it would do more than that. I have my solar panel coming, um, but I'm waiting on Ryan to help me um, to help me to put it up. So still, I 
guess I can, well, if I'm out anywhere, I can't just like put it on the side, like in a parking lot or something. It takes up too much space. Oh, so I'm just going to see what I can do. Um, I don't know. I've got the setup pretty good. The, uh, the little breeze is I've got it pointed right at me. See that? Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> and the fan is on top of the refrigerator, so that works um, pretty well. I am going to start taking down now. I've got the curtain behind me that's got to go down all of the reflective stuff and I'm just gonna and I'll have to take them the air conditioned stuff. I'm just gonna see how long it takes me to do that and then go home and charge everything up and um, work on it again later. I've sort of just hung out in here after I've gotten through with eating. I figure I'll just stay in here and enjoy the coolness as long as I can. And then by that time, maybe the sun is not so much. I don't like to go outside anyway between 12 and 2 because you know that's when the sun's rays are you know, the most harmful. Still got to go get my salmon, so I'll probably go to the beach for a little while and then either walk or ride up, ride my bike up to the um, market to get my salmon. So. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get some stuff down before everything, uh, I lose all power. But this has been a, a experience, a good experience. Um, I really wish things would have lasted longer, but it's okay. We'll get there.